When was the last time you had 21 carries? Um, high school. <laughs> How many years ago was that? Uh, 2017. Well, actually, uh, when I was in JUCO, yeah. that was probably my last time, which was uh, 2018. And then you got to flash your speed on that circle route released down the left sideline. Oh, so. yeah. You know, I got tripped up, but, uh, you know, my main thing is that we scored in that drive, and, you know, we did that. So, mm -hmm. uh, God yeah. is great. Is that a sight read to you, or was that the actual play call? Uh, it was it, it was a read. Um, you know, I, I read that uh, two, two of the linebackers blitz, mm -hmm. um, so I adjust off of that. And, uh, you know, QB just gave me a little signal to go work up field. And um, like what I said, uh, Coach Enos and, you know, Leo, he puts us in great position and uh, with, with three back there and uh, Leo back there, he's a, he's a great leader. And, uh, you know, it's someone definitely I, I can trust. And, you know, someone can be awesome. <laughs> Viner Forgates makes your company work. Um, it, de it definitely, as far as um, my performance, uh, wasn't perfect, wasn't the best. But uh, uh, my main thing is just getting that win, and it feels back to be at where you know what we usually do, and that's winning games. Um, and it definitely wouldn't be possible if it weren't for um, O line up front, uh, receivers blocking the perimeters, and our QB just making the perfect reads and. You know, they, they made my job easier. And, you know, it just always feels good to win. Can you talk about your relationship with Tyon Fleet Davis and how you guys work together and help each other in that running back room? Oh, man, when I first came in, um, uh, Fleet was, you know, open arms. Uh, he welcomed me. And, uh, you know, we're definitely, uh, you know, we're, we're competitive. And uh, at the same time, we help each other. Um, we definitely um, have that bond off the field, which helps, you know, on the field. So um, he's, he's like a big brother to me. and. Uh, you know, we always work with each other and um, try to do whatever it takes to help this team win. What was the mindset on that four-minute drive when you and Tayon knew you kind of had to keep you, your offense on the field to win the game? Uh, definitely make the correct reads and uh, stay in bounds and uh, most importantly, just protecting the ball. Um, you know, it would have been crucial if we, you know, fumble and whatnot, but uh, my main thing was just getting positive yards, staying in bounds and uh, two hands on the ball. And, uh, you know, with Coach Brooks, uh, with, with a great coach like that, um, he, uh, basically uh, teaches us every day about ball security and how it's important. Um, and those are the things that kills us, you know, in, in the past few games was just turnovers. Um, if it was fumbles and, um, and all that. So, uh, you know, that four minute drive, I was just thinking about, you know, ball security. Did you notice Leah settle in at all? Coach Oxley mentioned kind of, sorry, the second half, maybe seemed a little more. Uh, settled in. Did you notice that at all out there? What did you say? Talia settling in in the second half. What do you mean by settling in? Um, just kind of being more comfortable out mm -hmm. there. Did you notice a difference in him as the game went on? Um, I, I feel like he's, he's someone who's always comfortable. Um, he's always prepared for anything that comes. Um, and like what I said, he's just a great quarterback to have and uh, um, someone that's very trustworthy. And, uh, you know, when adversity hits, um, he's one of those guys that, you know, he, he goes back to neutral. Um, he has that next play mentality. And um, that's, that's one thing we love about him. And um, as you can see, you know, third down, um, he's someone that you can definitely uh, trust and, uh, you know, to get, get the first down.